Okay, you want me to say we, we are the Ames Bros or we are the Ames Bros? We are the Ames I'm Kobe Schultz. And I'm Barry Amit. And we are Ames Bros. <laughs> <laughs> We're providing graphic design services, illustration for a variety of different clients around the world and as much as we can here in Seattle. Primarily, we're, we're heavy on the uh, entertainment in terms of music and sports. Try to be associated with fun as much as we can. Early on, the posters we did, we did all for free. Usually when we take on a project, it has to meet a certain criteria and that almost always has to be that it's something we're excited about on a creative level. And so that's worked itself out into a career. Nostalgia is a big thing. Um, so that whole aesthetic, which has a retro feel, I think is kind of a thing that you see in a lot of our work. We started talking to John Weaver maybe seven or eight years ago, well before we started doing this. He wanted to make something like this happen. It just, it, it took some time and it took a lot of work on John's behalf to where we could have this level of creativity. John and the Seahawks have entrusted us to um, go out and curate this thing, go out and find artists. There's always been a lot of creative freedom, so there's a huge kind of creative swath that you can kind of roam in and out of and try new things. My name is John Weaver, and I'm the creative director here at the Seahawks. So the Game Day Poster Program is, is a program we started three years ago in an effort to bring some artwork, some true fine art to the Twelves. We've partnered with the Ames Brothers to find several local artists that we can use to build this Game Day Poster program. This is our third year of doing the Game Day Poster series. This year's charity is Urban Artworks. My name is Ebony Wyatt. I'm the program manager for Urban Artworks. Urban Artworks mission is to engage youth and communities in the creation of public artwork that not only inspires connections, but also honors the voices of those communities and those young people. We typically work with youth who have been involved in the juvenile justice system at some point in their life, um, and they come to us through um, various programs within the city that are employment training opportunities, and so our program works with young people who are mostly BIPOC, mostly have barriers or challenges um, to having access to the arts, and some of them come to us with art skills already, some of them come to us haven't painted since they've been in kindergarten, but we work with them to develop basic art skills Skills and we treat it as an employment opportunity so they get public speaking skills, developing a portfolio, um, learning how to be on time and communicate when you're going to be late, all of those things. Um, and then of course the mural production process as well. Creation and coming from a creative place can have such a big impact. We've really worked on keeping it in the creative space with the, with the programs we've worked with. Obviously it's huge to be have the Seahawks involved because of their, their window to the public, but you know that, that you can do something and have and raise as much as we've been able to raise uh, just, just by being creative. And um, I would like to think that that just sets an example for kids and young adults and somebody that would consider that as a field or even how they could impact with, with an idea.